Hello everybody, I'm Rene Ramos, director of the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives, and this is Rewind, the show that looks back on Florida's past with historic film and video. It's time for another trip back into the past, so sit back, relax, and enjoy another episode of Rewind. call it a fair, a sea fair, some call it a festival, Florida folks call it a fish fry, but let's just call it good times, good times, that's singing and dancing and seafood, lots of seafood, young and old alike, y'all come, y'all come.
we tong for oysters. There are newer ways to harvest them, but tonging does strengthen the biceps and the back and, <laughs> and, and the character that they tell me. Helps you sleep well, too. Now, young oysters attach themselves to old shells, so sometimes you gotta whack them to sort them. There's only one thing better for you than farming oysters, and that's eating them. Keeps you young. Small boats are okay for scallops close in. But offshore, you gotta use big gear. Dredges, not tongs, are used for scallops. Maybe because scallops move around. Mature oysters can't. By sure scallops move pretty fast. Just by snapping their shells. Sort of, you might call them jet propelled. Calico scallops are small, sweet, tender, they're delicious. We ship them all over the country. That is, the, the ones we don't eat down here. Plenty of crabs in Florida waters. We use traps to catch them, and the little ones we throw back. And that's the law. To make a living, you gotta haul and set about uh, about 200 traps a day. Once in a while, a porpoise will come alongside to sort of check on how we're doing.
Almost all the stone crabs in the states are landed in Florida. All the stone crab meets in the claws, so sometimes we tear off one claw and throw the crab back to, to grow, to, to, to regenerate a new one. Females carrying eggs there, they're also thrown back. Helps conserve the species, you know what I mean? We take blue crabs in Florida, too. They have meat in their bodies as well as in their claws. Now, our lobsters don't have any claws at all. We take lobsters in traps and market them as Florida lobsters. Actually, they're not lobsters, they're crawfish. You get them when you order lobster tails. Conservation officers are checking the catch. Four, six, eight, and twelve. And seven, fifteen, seventy-nine, and four, and five, and eight, and two thousand. Now, here's a real delicacy. Pompano. Pompano are landed mainly in Florida. You know what we call them? Goldfish. Then there's mullet. More and more people are beginning to discover how good they are. Seine to circle a school of fast-moving mullet. They can swim under the seine or jump over it if you're not careful. catch mackerel about the same way we catch mullet. Sometimes they school with other fish, so you've got a job sorting them. Florida mackerel are called Spanish mackerel. They're great, broiled, fried, or cooked almost any way you like them. The Florida Marine Patrol uses planes. It gives them extra eyes. Conservation officers check licenses and catches and, well, keeps us honest. We can't start our engines. 
Over. Doesn't work. We'll tell you in. You got no problem. Sing with us. Okay, here's your part. Fish fry, Florida fish fry. Fish fry, Florida fish fry. And we'll sing the other part and we'll do it together, all right? Okay? thank God for his bounty from the sea and they asked divine protection for all fishermen Everybody likes shrimp. We use an otter trawl to get them. It's a large bag of net, and it's held open by otter doors. We just drag the trawl over the bottom and scoop the shrimp into the open net. And we've got a new way to grow shrimp. Aquaculture, it's called. Breeding and raising shrimp under controlled conditions in shrimp farms. A jar can hold thousands of shrimp larvae, and they have a better chance to grow to eating size here at the shrimp farm where there are no predators. Other creatures to feed on them, I mean.
All kinds of new things happening here in Florida to increase our seafood supply. We use movie and television cameras on a sled. It's like having divers down there at the bottom. It helps find new places to go fishing. Fishing for calico scallops, for instance. ourselves quite a seafood industry. Yeah, we ship them. Fresh, frozen, smoked, and breaded. Every day. To Keokuk, Denver, Phoenix, and Sioux City, Iowa. Now they're ready at your market, ready for your table, easy to prepare. Now they're caught in Florida yesterday. Buy them anywhere today. And Florida trains home economists to let people know about seafood, how to fix it, don't overcook. How good it is for you. Low in that cholesterol, great for dieters. Florida, we know that to enjoy our seafood, we must keep our environment the way it is, even improve it. And believe me, we aim to do just that. Driving down through Florida, what can you see? Something weighing on my mind, the word ecology. Some Flowers and sweet breezes on my mind. Mm -hmm. 
just man together through the hourglass we see visions of our children's time in gentle harmony sunshine sweet breezes that blow That's about it for this edition of Rewind. Just time to remind you that Rewind features historical, film and video from the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives. To see more from the Wolfson Archives collections, visit our website, wolfsonarchives.org. You can search the archives catalog and watch video online. And be sure to connect to our YouTube channel where you will find hundreds of carefully curated clips or link to the Wolfson Archives Facebook page to keep up with our busy calendar of historical happenings. Until next time, I'm Rene Ramos. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh.